I was on this trip last year, and my first English prompt when I got back to school was, what is your favorite place? And I actually wrote about at La Catla. Because it's so beautiful, and like you can see just God and like the, the beauty of this place, and the people, they're so kind to you, and you just feel at home. This is actually my first mission trip, so I've never really been on any other mission trip. I've been on a lot of church-related traveling, but as far as mission trips goes, number one for me. It was life-changing. I learned so much about a culture that I didn't even know like existed until I came here. The dances were beautiful and the drums were so powerful and it was just gorgeous. We've got to help them with a canoe, lifting a heavy, heavy canoe. It took like 20 people to lift it and then get it into the water. Watching the christening of the canoe, it was really interesting. Um, I have never seen anything like that before, where a tribe came together, took the ship out to the water and then blessed it, and then took the canoe out themselves. It was really amazing. I had actually never physically read the New Testament. I'd always like watch the little kids' shows of it when I was younger. When I was here, I sat down and I actually read it and I looked through all these great things he did and it just amazed me. And you know that phrase, what would Jesus do? After this week, that means a lot more to me. When people started sharing things about Jesus and God, uh, I see them genuinely listen. You know, their ears perk up, like they're hearing something with their heart, not just their head. And to me, that's almost like I see a God moment there. To me, that's the things that's most exciting for me. I consider myself like a shy person sometimes, so getting on stage in front of all these kids was kind of like a, it was kind of hard for me, but like, once I got the hang of it, it was pretty easy, so it changed me. I like all colors, but green is just my favorite, ha ha ha! That's not a weird laugh, everybody laughs differently. I just happen to have a really dramatic laugh, ha ha ha! Uh, my favorite moment was seeing the kids first come in and them going throughout the week and seeing them when they leave. Because when they come in, they're really shy, they're scared, and when they leave, they're happy to know everybody, they're jumping up and down, and they can't wait for us to come back. We're not just some group who came just to be tourists, and they thought like, they wanted to just come back next year, and it was heartwarming, and it really helped me. Over well, the future for me, I want to come back on every single one I can, because I want to make new friends and reconnect with old friends that I love. Over these mission trips, like we grow closer like through our faith together and we can just like connect together. So I think that's really cool how it brings us together. Of course I'm coming back. I'm coming back as many times as I can. Absolutely. This is how we do our mission trips. What does your pastor do? Nice! 